Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to give you five tips when you're bending wood for your bow making that'll keep you from making mistakes. Tip number one is to prepare everything before you start heating up your bow. Because if you heat your bow before all your clamps are ready, or your counterweight, or anything you need to keep your hands, gloves from being burned on the wood, whatever it is, if not everything's ready, you're gonna heat your bow, you're gonna run around, try to find the things, the bow's gonna start to cool off, and it's just gonna be frustrating, and you may not get the shape you want. So prepare everything before you start heating your bow. Tip number two is to not overheat. How do you accomplish that? Well, the easiest way to overheat is with a heat gun. You go on your bow, stay in one single place, the wood can get black, there actually is a chance that it's still not ruined. You can scrape some of it off if it's not too bad and the bow might work. But the key is to keep your heat gun moving back and forth as you are heating your bow. There's other methods of heating. You can do it over a campfire, you can do it over a grill, you can steam it with water boiling. There's lots of methods, but whenever you're using a heat gun, be careful to continually move the wood so that you don't ruin your bow. Tip number three is to not clamp the wood. A very common way to bend a bow is to have a form and to clamp your wood down to the form. Now with clamps you cannot feel how tight you are pressuring it and so if you over clamp it your bow wood will crack. Let me show you a better alternative. <laughs> a better alternative to clamping is to have a form. Say you're going to recurve your bow. You can set your bow in the form, heat it up, put a two pound counterweight, it can be anything, you could even put a clamp here just to hold it for weight. As it heats, the bow will naturally pull the wood down. That way you never over clamp it and risk breaking your bow and it only bends when it's hot enough. Here's another method to clamping down your bow. I have a hole right here in my workbench. I grab one of these forms, put my bow in the hole and then put the form so I can change out the forms whenever I want and I can heat it right here and then uh, it'll bend at the right consistency without the chance of breaking it. Tip number four is how you can get twist out of your bow. So when you've got it in the form and the bow is twisted, what you can do is you can grab a clamp. You can put the clamp on it with the, the bar side facing the way you need the wood to twist. So come in close here and I'll show you. Before, the wood is twisted like this, but once you heat it up and get the bar clamp out of it, on it, it'll straighten up the wood for you. And then your limb will be completely straight all the way down. Now, if you don't have a bar clamp, that's no problem. You can use a little C-clamp like this, and if it's not heavy enough, just hang a little weight to this or anything that'll pull it down. Or you can even twist it with your hands as hard as you can as the bow is hot, and then wait until it cools off and then you'll get the twist out of your bow that way. Tip number five, use what you have to heat your bow. If you have a heat gun, it's a great option. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a grill. You could put the grill on high, close it, stick your bow just over the burners and let it heat up evenly over the whole limb. Another option would be a campfire. You can steam the bow. If you have a stove or an oven, if you have a stove top, you can heat the bow. Get a pot of boiling water, and put a pipe on it, stick your bow in that pipe, you can wrap it in foil it and, cl and close it or whatever, but you can even use your stove top to heat up your wood. So there are many options. Tip number five, use what you have. There's five bow bending tips for you. Now remember, additional tip, those are mainly towards Osage. If you're using a different kind of wood, you need to go with the steaming option in most cases or else your bow will break. So have fun, go make a bow, remember, <coughs> and remember if you have a dream, you can accomplish it. <laughs>